Returning to our top story now, we have video just in of a rampaging driver speeding down Burke Street. Live to Dougal Beatty. Dougal, it's simply frightening. It certainly is, Pete, and I spoke to a witness just a short time ago. He actually filmed this incident down in the Burke Street Mall, and I'll take it through to you right now. You can see in this vision a dark-coloured uh, Mitsubishi sedan being boxed in by police in Burke Street Mall. At that point, one man gets out of that vehicle and sprints from the car. He heads towards Elizabeth Street. Then that vehicle, which is badly damaged at the front after it ran into a bollard, it drives around the police car and speeds down Burke Street Mall uh, towards Swanston Street. We'll take you to that vision now, and this is all how it played out. So this is certainly frightening stuff. This all unfolded about five o'clock this afternoon here in Burke Street Mall. It is still an unfolding situation. I can show you. Uh, this is the bollard which the sedan crashed into, that dark-coloured Mitsubishi sedan. And as you can see, police are still in the process of processing that scene. They're speaking to witnesses down here. We do not know where that car is at the moment, nor do we know where that passenger of the vehicle uh, fled to. But this has certainly brought up a lot of memories of what happened here just a few years ago. Go with James Gargasoulis. People were terrified. They said it, they feared it was another terrorist incident. We are waiting on an update from police as we speak, and we'll bring you those updates as they come to hand. Pete. Okay, thank you very much, Dougal Beatty.